Hello guys, I'm the Idiot Master here, and today I will be showing you how to get the worst Minecraft client for 1.7.2 all the way up to 12.2. The first thing that you're going to want to do is to open up any internet browser and type in this link that will be in the description of the video. Once that opens up, you're going to want to press the Download Worst link. It'll pull up multiple options, worst for Minecraft 1.12, 1.11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. I'm just going to go ahead and download 1.9 because I don't have it yet. Once on the screen to download Worst, you're going to want to scroll down and under Downloads, you would want to click on Worst Client for 1.10 and install that. Once that is done installing, Open up your worst worst client 6.25 and press the worst installer. Once up, just press the install, and once it gives you the worst MC 1.10, whatever version you decide to download, has been successfully installed. It means you've done this correctly. Once your Minecraft launcher is up, you're going to want to scroll down or up to find the version that you've recently downloaded of worst MC and go ahead and press play. It might say it needs downloading because this is a new folder that has been put in your .minecraft. Once your worst Minecraft version loads up, you should see three options, single, player, multiplayer, and alt manager. In the alt manager, there is zero premium accounts and eight cracked accounts. Cracked accounts are accounts that have not been verified by the Mojang service. So if you were to try to go onto a server with them, it would not let you on it because it is a cracked account and it could risk getting your IP banned. And that's it. You now have Worst installed in Minecraft and you're free to go into any multiplayer or single player server and go mess around. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to go into a Minecraft server and explain briefly what all of the capabilities of Worst are. Once you are in your public server or your private single player world, you're going to want to press Control. On your keyboard it's going to open up a panel with a lot of commands now this may seem a little bit daunting at first but once you break it down it's all very simple so if you ever need to know what something does it's if you highlight it it'll show you exactly what it does so auto farm harvest and replants and replants crops automatically auto eat automatically eats food when necessary auto sign whatever text you want on every sign you place auto splash pot auto walk base finder it searches for man-made blocks there's bone meal aura it automatically makes an aura of bone meal around you so if you turn that on and you have bone meal in your inventory it'll cause everything to grow around you chest esp will show any chests that are on the map cave finder which is a good example will look through the world and find all caves. Next is the command block without having op, which is good for friendly servers that your friends are hosting. As you can see, whatever you are currently using shows in the corner. To disable anything you want, you re-click it and it'll go away. You can put on multiple things at once, which can be handy if you want to use, let's say, criticals, ESP, and kill aura or fast E and autopot. With all of those together, you'll basically be an unstoppable machine in any kind of PvP match. Next, the final thing that we'll be going over is how to set keybinds. So, for example, if we want kill aura, there's different types of kill aura, like kill aura legit, which is harder to detect, normal kill aura, and click aura. Click aura is one of my favorites, where whenever you hold it down, except it looks really, really suspicious. So I wouldn't recommend using this on servers, just as it gives you the warning right there. On any of these, you're going to want to scroll down and find the keybinds. I already have a keybind set to insert, but I'm just going to remove that and show you how to set a new one. If you press the little plus, you want to select toggle, kit lick aura, or whatever you selected before. Now, I'm just going to select insert because it's easy and it's right to the right side of my hand. Press OK, and it's, now I set insert to toggle aura. Once you press escape twice, if I were to press insert, my click aura would activate as it says in the corner. And if I press it again, my click aura would deactivate. Anyway, thank you for watching and make sure to use this wisely and happy hacking.